Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading. This is going to be for Libra for the rest of your July. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in your career and your money. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people. So I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, also, I have uh, pre-recorded personal readings turned off right now. I'm only taking virtual, okay? Um, what else? If you guys uh, would like to follow me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the uh, description box below. I do also post readings on there too, all right? So this is not my regular setup. I don't have, I do have my mic, but I'm so lazy to set it up. <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Tell me about Libra. Libra in their career and their money for the rest of July. Tell me about Libra in their career and their money for the rest of July. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Libra. Tell me about Libra here. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys could be having nostalgia about the past here. This is interesting. Has nothing to do with career and money. It could be a situation that some of you guys work with children or that you guys work with children that you uh, help rehabilitate or something like that. You know, it could be children that has had, you know, injuries, long-term injuries, uh, you know, uh, perhaps, oh, I don't know why I'm getting this. Um, some of you guys could, you know, work with um, children that has like prosthetic legs or prosthetic arms, sort of like rehabilitating them, sort of like training them on how to use it. Um, another thing I'm getting is that with the Six of Cups here and the Nine of Wands, it could be an indication that for somebody, for somebody, there could be childhood trauma that is coming up for somebody, okay? Now, this could be you, this could be someone in around you, or that you work with um, children who have trauma, okay? So, um, some of you guys could be therapists or even guidance counselors or something like that, but there's a strong sense of working with children here, okay? Seems like, you know, some of you guys have a sense of purpose here or a sense of calling, okay? Whatever this is, um, for some of you guys, maybe this is your first job, just out of college or something like that. This doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be a situation that you just took on a new job and this is your calling. Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, Page of uh, Pentacles, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Virgo. And then we have the Two of Wands here and the Three of Wands here. So what's happening is I feel like this is something that you planted seeds to. And I feel like your ships are sailing in or about to sail in here. I do feel like, you know, it could be, you know, this new offer, this new job offer, you know, could be maybe one of the best decisions that you've made here because I feel like you're looking towards the future or that you're excited about the future here. Six of Cups. We have the Hangman Piscean Energy here, the Nine of Wands here, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, This is so interesting. Some of you guys do deep, 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 Tra like tra traumatic uh, therapy with children. You know, it could be, you know, PTSD. I don't know why I'm getting this because as soon as I saw the hangman, I saw like kind of like a little, you know, almost like hypnosis. Maybe some of you guys have done that before, you know, for yourself or that you guys do provide that as a service, okay? Um, the hangman, Piscean energy and the six of pentacles here, judgment and the chariot, cancer energy, page of pentacles and the eight of cups here. This is interesting. So you guys could be leaving an old job to move towards this new job. So you guys could be completely shifting careers where you guys at some point, you know, might, maybe some of you guys got, got a degree in like working with children or something like that. And then you guys fell into the daily nine to five grind and they feel like you guys could be moving back towards that, okay? Chariot, Cancer energy here, two of wands here and Justice Libra energy here. The uh, three of wands here and the three of cups. This is so interesting. Some of you guys could help children uh, that have been, you know, 
ha that has had a troubled past. And I feel like some of you guys could help these, you know, young teens or young adults that are maybe getting out of the system and you're helping them transition back into society here. Okay, we have justice here and the three of wands. This is some this is so interesting. Some of you guys might work in the prison system here, but with like youngsters. Yeah, with like youngsters or something like that. Okay, uh, perhaps you help these youngsters find a sponsor to help them transition back into society. Does that make sense? All right, what else do we have here for Libra? Yeah, it's almost like you found a sense of purpose or that this is your purpose here, uh, Libra. What else do we have for Libra? What else does Libra need to look out for, work on here for the rest of July when it comes to the career and money for Libra? Ooh, that is way too many that jumped out. So I'm going to put them back on you guys. I'm seeing the High Priestess here and the Six of Swords. Uh, a bunch of them came out face down. Um, let's see. We have the Fool and the Three of Swords. The Fool and the Three of Swords here. The Fool Aries energy, Aquarius energy, and the Three of Swords. We have the Two of Swords here and the Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> pretty soon, pretty soon, some of you guys might have parents that are older, and I feel like some of you guys might need to take care of them more. Okay? So I feel like the money that you're making here or this new job that you're taking here, it's, it's going to be paying you a lot more. And one of the things I'm picking up here is I feel like some of you guys might be trying to figure out, okay, how much money is going to go to me? How much money is going to go to my other expenses? And how much money is going to go to my parents? Okay. So I do feel like, you know, um, you know, some, you know, some of your parents uh, might need some sort of financial help at some point here. Okay. So that's something to look out for here uh, for you guys, uh, Libra, the Seven of Cups here and the Knight of Swords here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, energy. You know, I feel like it's almost like the Seven of Cups here. I feel like you're living your dream and you're like on top of the world. It's like you landed on something that you really enjoy. And this is something that's paying you really well here too. Okay, there's a strong sense of working with children, like I said. Okay, uh, the Fool card here and the Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah, I do feel like at some point here, you, um, I feel like it's really important if you're taking care of like family members or family members are reliant on you here, make sure you have boundaries with these individuals. If you can't help them, then you can't help them. But if you can help them, you, I mean, it could be something along the lines of, you know what, I need some of this money for myself, but I could give you this much, you know, you know, or help you with this much. Yeah, so make sure you have boundaries with people here, okay, uh, when it comes to you know, offering to help or, you know, needing to help, you know, uh, especially like parents. Um, you know, I, this is so interesting. One of the things I'm getting here is that uh, for some of you guys, your parents don't really have good boundaries, okay? Um, and I feel like it could stress you out a lot. Okay, so this is something that to work on because at the same time, even though you love your parents here, Libra, or that you have parents that you love very much and they love you very much, it's so important to have boundaries with people. Yeah, so important. It's for your own mental and emotional health. Ten of uh, t uh, ten of ten of Pentacles and the Devil here, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I do feel like there's this family situation here where I do feel like there's some sort of codependency. Now. Are you codependent? Maybe, but I'm getting the sense that your family could be codependent on you, okay? So be careful with that, okay? Because I do feel like when people are codependent in and around you, they try to break your boundaries, so don't allow that to happen. Stand firm, yeah. You could totally do it here, uh, Libra. I feel like some of you guys are doing it, yeah. Five of Cups here, and the uh, Seven of Cups, the uh, Knight of Swords here, and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. This is so interesting. One of the things I'm getting is that this decision that you made for yourself somehow is going to change your life because perhaps, you know, if you're supporting your family here, you have that extra money for yourself and for your family here. And I feel like there's no regrets about a decision that you made here. Okay? So, Libra. I hope that, that I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.